bless you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of calm for them. Well, here it is, Christmas Eve, and it's a nice feeling. The children are in bed and the tree is all trimmed. I'm proud this year of the present I got from my wife, Peggy. It's a pretty special present because this is our 10th Christmas together. I sat down and wrote out a tag to Peggy. But this time I know a tag isn't enough. This is the time to write down some of the little things I think of so often. Things I can never seem to say out loud. To Peggy for marrying me in the first place. And for your making ours such a happy family. Mostly because of the fun you have with the children. They say bringing up two children is hard work, but you always manage to make it seem like play. Even your patient attention to every detail as the children grew up, like the endless brushing, brushing, brushing of Janie's hair. You gave me a wonderful family that I can never even think of without a feeling of pride. For bringing up our children single-handed, while I mostly sat back and gave advice. For the 2008 socks you darned. And there's something else that's strictly your department. For tying innumerable bow ties. You know, you make me look like one of the 10 best dressed men when actually I'm one of the five guys who know the least about it. And look at you. How do you always manage to look like a million dollars on the money I give you? It always seems that when we're in a hurry, I can never remember where I put things, that I'm always blaming you for misplacing them. For finding my umbrella, coat and hat, heaven knows how many times. There's something about the way you change from the lady of the manor to chief cook and bottle washer that continues to amaze me for planning a thousand meals a year and having me take them for granted. And on the nights I bring home work from the office, work that has to be finished by morning, you're always there. For a constant tenderness I rarely notice, but I'm sure I couldn't live without. For being the family show for years on end in all kinds of weather, for never letting Janie or Bill know fear, no matter how frightened you were yourself. For never letting Jane or Bill know fear, no matter how frightened you were yourself. For wanting a good watch for ever so long, and letting your slow-moving husband think he'd hit on it all by himself. Just for being you, darling. Here's your hammer. never could wait till Christmas morning to open your presents, could you? <laughs> All right, let's put it on. For the Peggy in your family, or the Jim, no gift means more than a Hamilton watch. For example, the lovely Hamilton Bernice, or the precious Hamilton A14, set with 14 diamonds. For the man in your heart, the Hamilton Norton, sealed against moisture and dirt. Hamilton watches are priced from $49.50 to $12,000. See the wide selection at your jewelers, and remember, Someone you love is hoping for a Hamilton this Christmas. And God send you a happy new year. Christmas Eve. Our tree is trimmed and all the presents are wrapped. Have only one more job the note I want to write to go with Jim's present. It seems a bit silly to write a letter to Jim when right now he's upstairs putting our children to bed. 
But I want to tell him, in words that won't embarrass him, why I think he's a pretty wonderful husband. Well, Jim always says the only way to get a thing done is to start doing it. So, to Jim, for holding my hand tight the day we were married, and for never letting go, even during the years when every woman begins to think she's losing her glamour. Flowers have never meant just special occasions in our house. You still bring them home with the groceries to surprise me on any day at all. For making me feel I am still your best girl, even though we've been married a long, long time. For all the things you didn't say the time I ripped the fender off the car. And then those early mornings with the baby and the bottle warmer that wouldn't warm. For sparing me those chilly trips to heat the 6 a.m. bottle. And at 6 p.m., the times you came home with a sirloin steak appetite only to be faced with something straight out of a can. For being a good sport and seldom remarking that's what I had for lunch. And after dinner, when we have company and you've been cornered by a couple of the girls, <laughs> I'm sure there are 40 other places you'd rather be, but you're still just as sweet as ever. For treating my women friends as though you really liked them. All my life I've been watching the war market and uh, you know, in many ways... And for the way your eyes light up when our glances happen to meet at a party. But it wasn't always a party. I remember the hospital when I was a little scared and feeling sorry for myself. You may come in now, sir. And in you came, with a laugh. It was just what the doctor ordered. I ordered the kiss on my own for being so eternally there for me to lean on. For being so eternally there for me to lean on. For wanting a good watch for years and years, but being too unselfish to spend the money on yourself. Dearest, here's your Hamilton. With all my love, take it. Gee, Dad, aren't you going to kiss us? <laughs> we join us all together, fa la 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 Give us all the wind and weather, fa la 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 For the Jim in your family, or the Peggy, no gift means more than a Hamilton watch. The smart Hamilton Eric, for example, or the Hardy, one of Hamilton's distinguished pocket watches. For her, the beautiful FL32, with 14 karat gold case and bracelet. Hamilton watches are priced from $49.50 to $12,000. See the wide selection at your jewelers, and remember, someone you love is hoping for a Hamilton this Christmas. And I'll send you a Hamilton.